dumbbell flow press. So we'll be working our chest. It's the home variation of a bench press, but I know most people don't have benches at home. So you would get down with your dumbbells, I like being on my knees, rather on my heels, just like that. And then get your arms, get your upper arms out at kind of like an aeroplane. Keep that not too close, slightly out like that. And you're going to push up, then control down. The advantage of the floor press is your arms cannot exceed. You're kind of, in case the weights are heavy, your arms cushion your fall. On a bench, you should be able to go a bit lower. I'll demonstrate that with these, um, whatever they're called, porches or whatever. So something like that, control down slow, squeeze up, control down, squeeze up, control down. Now, if you have something like this, maybe you have a bench at home actually, but if you have either a bench or you have something like this, so what you can do is get your dumbbells, get down. You see, my arms can at least go a little bit more. I can stretch the chest a little bit more, then come up. See, a little bit more. Of course, the disadvantage with these would be that I'm sinking into them. You want to have a fairly rigid surface such that you're actually pushing against and you're not, uh, you're not wasting energy pushing against a cushion where you're sinking into, you want to push against the hard surface. So that's where a bench would be better. The flow would, have to, the flow would be decent enough. Yeah, but if you have a narrower, maybe a narrower bench and it's not cushioned too much like this, that would be good because you can get a better stretch in the chest. And for muscle growth, you want to have that stretch on the negative and then explosive on the positive. Stretch on the negative and as far as possible and then push on the positive. All right. 